Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Uh, this time we're going to make a little detour because I have a new toy. This wonderful Liberty One bow uh, from LibertyArchery.com. Um, it's a wonderful bow because it's very small. That's what I like. Powerful, muscle-operated weapons that are small, just like slingshots. This bow is really exciting. You see, it's of course it's a full compound bow, and um, but it has no riser. It is actually riserless. Uh, the question is whether you do you really need a riser. Uh, I think it's a very powerful weapon. It has about 70 pounds straw weight. Uh, it has to be shot with a release, like this copperhead release that Howard Winters, the owner of Liberty Archery, recommends. Let's shoot with it. So first we put the release into the loop. The arrow sits in the whisker biscuit, just nice. And then I draw out. And you have to make sure that you don't touch the trigger because it's really a fine trigger. Just one little touch and it will go off. And then you cock it and you see that once you achieve the full draw position then the let off kicks in and now it's very easy to hold. It's almost nothing. And then there is a peep side here where you can simply peep through. So aiming with this is very very easy. And it shoots really hard. So this is my proven diamond razor edge bow. Um, it's also pretty nice. It only has 16 po 60 pounds draw weight. Um, it's small. I think it's very small. That's why I bought it in the first place. I attached a string stop because it would sometimes give me nasty slaps on the arm, but not with the string stop. And I shoot with it in comparison. The draw is lighter, but the let off is also not as dramatic. So if you look at these bows in comparison, you see that this one, the Liberty one, is a lot shorter. It's also a lot, light, a lot lighter. And this one here has this visor, which is not flexible. And this is responsible for the entire length difference. So you see the flexible part is pretty much the same. Actually, the Liberty one bow has a longer flexible part. Also, the difference is that this one shoots through the middle. So as you can see, the whisker biscuit is right in the middle and it shoots through the limbs of the bow. Very interesting concept. Now, of course, it is possible to go smaller than the Liberty One with my sling bow here. I've done a few changes since you've seen it last time. Let me show these to you. First of all, I added this piece of scrap metal um, just because people have been afraid that I would hit my hand. Well, uh, there was really no danger, but just so people can sleep better uh, I attach this and now it's of course not possible for the arrow to ever hit your hand. Also, because this is not a slingshot but a bow, it is legal to attach an arm brace which stabilizes this thing very much when you shoot so you can shoot harder bands. Okay. <laughs> See this suicide cat? <laughs> So now let's look at a shot in slow motion and see how the bow behaves when I shoot. Okay, let's shoot it over the crony. This is not the arrow that the manufacturer recommends. I bought some of them, but I have to fledge them in at the tips and the knocks, and uh, that's not finished yet. So this is a uh, 25 gram carbon fiber arrow. So that was 86 meters 23. Pretty powerful. So let's see how the diamond razor edge compares. <laughs> 75 meters 48. So let's try the sling bow. 46.75, well that's definitely a lot slower, but it's painful enough. <laughs> wow, what a product. I'm very convinced. It's precise, it's small, it has a lot of energy, and um, I think it's just a wonderful piece of technology. It's not cheap, uh, 
but you can learn more about it at www.libertyarchery.com. Enjoy. Thanks. Bye-bye.